Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna talk about World War 3 again and the big plans that the new developers have for the future of the game. Yesterday evening they shared a Q&A where they answered the most frequent questions about the game and what they're planning and I want to sum up the most important points for you. So first of all there will be more playtests coming with the new builds of the game in the near future. Last week they already held one of them and that already gave players a glimpse of the direction they're heading and even though I could not participate myself, the ones who joined told me that the game felt more stable and that the performance was a lot better than before. There is no date for the next playtest yet, but we will get more details about it in the second half of September, so be sure to stay tuned. Now a quick rundown of the info we got in the Q&A. They will not move the game from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5. Instead they will focus on maximizing the potential of Unreal Engine 4, at least for now. It might change at some point in the future, but for now they will stay at Unreal Engine 4. They will also not add DLSS or FSR support to the game in the near future. It is on their to-do list, but it doesn't have a high priority since it's not an easy process to implement. What they will change though is the anti-cheat system. They will switch to easy anti-cheat later this year already. Probably also not the best one, but the most common one. Then, very, very important, they are actively working on the netcode of the game right now, which is incredibly good news, I think. And that's also what the playtests are for, to collect data so they can identify and address root causes of in-game lags, stability issues, performance problems, and so on. But they will focus on optimizing this on the already existing servers and regions, and once this is done, only then they will expand to new locations like South America or Australia, for example. What they also want to do, and this is something I really appreciate as a player, is to bring the game back to Steam without the third party launcher it requires right now. But this is also not an easy process from both a technical and community perspective, but they will try to get this done step by step over the next few months. Now, moving on to more gameplay and progression related questions, first of all they will introduce a new and more engaging progression system over time that is supposed to be more rewarding and more balanced than the current one. But they won't delete any progression that you've already made of course, so your hard earned progress of the last few years won't get lost. There are also more bonuses and events in the making to motivate players to come back more frequently to the game, however the developers are very clear that that they think that the game itself with a stable performance and fun gameplay should be the main reason for players to return and not cosmetics and so on. Something you don't hear much these days. They also plan to rework the store and battle pass in the future, but this also doesn't have top priority at the moment, of course. They really want to focus on fixing the core problems of the game right now. What this also includes is weapon operator and vehicle customization and how it works. So they want to improve and expand the gunsmith and add more weapon attachments and vehicle upgrades over time. They will also improve the currently available game modes and tweak them, but they're not planning to add new ones in the near future. There will also not be any dynamic weather effects implemented anytime soon because this is really challenging to do. What is definitely a good point though is that they're planning to test the most important parts of future updates and upcoming seasons in the playtesting environment first that we also see the new builds right now and then collect feedback from this before they're bringing the changes to the actual game. They will also do surveys and polls on what players actually want from the game and where everyone can give feedback and suggestions. They're also actively working on season 4 right now with which they want to add some more narrative to the world and expand it and it will also of course have new content. There is no roadmap for this yet but once the technical aspects are resolved we can expect to see a detailed overview of what to expect in the future. So far this all sounds pretty good. Let's see how it plays once the first changes are live for everyone and if they can manage to revive this pretty much dead game. Tell me what you think about this in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. On to then, thanks for watching, I'm the Catwoman and you are awesome.